I don't know what the hell this is, but I almost ran it over. I think it's a baby hummingbird. Hi, little fella. You okay? Oh, oh there's a little baby hummingbird. I think it doesn't have any food. Oh my god. Damn, I have to walk home with this. Now I can give it a flower or something. Okay, gonna go over a little bit of Hummingbird 101. Um, Hummingbirds here in Arizona will have up to three clutches. Female raises the babies on her own. This one is young, you can tell because he has a short beak and a short tail. Uh, the syringe I'm using is huge, but that's okay because he's going to drink the nectar by himself. I will not force anything into his mouth. There is a little bead and you see how he starts licking and then he's drinking on his own. That's what you want to see. If I was to push water into his mouth, uh, it would create him to aspirate and choke and he would probably fail. Um, hummingbirds will open their mouth for food because their parents actually feed them insects. See that right there? Uh, a lot of people make the mistake of squirting liquid when they do that and that would kill him. So create a bubble and then let him taste it and then he can he has to drink it on his own. Good. So if uh, hummingbirds get sugar on their feathers, um, they fail because they can't temperature regulate and it takes a long time for them to grow back. Um, they also are insect eaters. So if you try to keep a hummingbird for anything over a day, especially if it's young and they don't get insects, uh, it'll create poor feather development and things. This guy's spinal, you can tell with the hunch in his back and he's going.